Hi, this is Kesha Srivastava with Avaya Client Services and in this video we will configure Avaya One X Attendant phone book for Avaya Communication Manager contacts and we will also see how to schedule automatic contact updation. The first step to configure the phone book is to export the phone book data from the respective communication manager. For that, we need to use the Avaya Site Administrator. Here we are using Avaya Site Administrator Advanced Feature Export Data. By default, Export Data comes up with the option Station, which is what we want to use. We should select export to file and then click on next. On this page we need to select all fields of the station form we want to export out of the communication manager. In this case we choose extension and name. Here we need to choose the location where the exported file need to be stored. Here I am choosing desktop. Once the location is chosen, then we need to set the field delimiter, which should be semicolon. The text qualifier can remain as quotation marks. And we also need to check box the export column titles on the first row. Once done, we can click on next. Give a name to our export. Also, as we want to schedule this to be run daily so that all newly added contacts get imported inside the 1x attendant phone book, we choose schedule this task instead of run now. In the schedule sub box, I choose the frequency as every 24 hours. Once the schedule has been chosen, I click on next, verify all of the settings and click on finish. Once this is done, I can go back into the schedule and see that my export CM phone book is waiting for the schedule time 608. Now I can see that my phone book data is getting exported and the state is in running. Now on my desktop I can see that the export station data has been created. I can verify that it is in the format which I had expected it to be. Now I log in inside the 1x attendant config tool. I click on the new option to create a new phone book. I give the name of the phone book as phone book 2. The description field can be used to signify what is the contact source. In this case, it is communication manager. I need to choose a CSV driver. In the provider URL, I need to give the directory, which is desktop in my case. In the table name, I need to give the name of the file, which is export underscore station. Make sure that you do not give the extension .txt. Once done, click on save. Getting the results OK confirms that the phone book connection has been made. Now I need to go inside mapping to be able to map the contact fields with the attribute name. Here I have two fields, extension and name. I map the extension with business one and name with the field CM name. Also I make sure that there is a primary key in my phone book so that the indexing is proper and primary key in this case is extension because it is unique. Once done, I click on save again. Now I go inside the update service. 
choose my phone book and activate it for updation. I need to make sure that the time here is higher than the time at which the phone book data is exported out of the communication manager. Once the time is set, I need to set the interval and click on save. Once the set time has been reached, then I log into my one X attendant. Under the data sources, I will be able to see a new entry which I have just created. And after choosing that entry, I should be able to search the new contacts from the new contact source. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was helpful. We welcome your comments, questions and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Mentor. Thank you for choosing a while.